Hello folks, welcome to the part two of three part series on calculator. Okay, so what are we solving today? We are solving basic calculator type two. So in this problem, it, you will be given like input like three plus two multiply two and the output should be two. Couple things to notice here that you are only gonna get non-negative integers, meaning you're not gonna get like three minus minus two. You, you may get like three minus two. So you have to, uh, you know, perform that operation. Now, other thing it says that the integer division should truncate towards zero. So that means that it's just simple integer divisions and you don't have to deal with doubles. With that in mind, let's welcome to my whiteboard. Okay, so the problem is three plus two multiply two. Now, the only trick here, which is kind of tricky, is that you have to postpone the operation. So let's say you read three, and then the second thing you read plus, you can't do the operation yet because you don't have two yet. So the way we're gonna solve this problem is we'll take plus as our, our, as our like starting operation to begin with. And no matter even this was something else, we will still start like our operation is equal to plus, right? And our number is equal to you know, it, zero. So this is what we will begin with. Now we will start reading each character. So we read three and now our number will basically become three, right? Then we read plus, so we'll say, hey, we just got an operation. So, but what was the operation before, you know, plus, because we started with plus and it will work every time. So what we're gonna do is we will have our stack and we are gonna do, so our operation is plus, so we're gonna enter basically plus three, you know, using that, putting that operation into three. So plus three into our stack. Now, our operation is gonna change to whatever you read. So it will it still be plus. And at that point, since you have already put three into the stack, so you can make this back to zero. Now we read two, so this will become two. And now the next operation you have is multiplication. But what was what is value of OP plus? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna enter two into our stack. Now your OP will become multiplication. So you see we are kind of postponing it. Next time we will we read and this will become zero, and then next time it will become two once you read this this two and then you are end of the you know uh, string but we still need to process our last element so what is the operation you have it's multiplication so for so for plus and negative you apply the operation on whatever the number is and you put it into stack so let's say there was a minus over here so you would apply that minus to two and you would put it into the stack as minus two. And for division and multiplication, what you do is you take out the last element from the stack and apply the operation to n. So in this case, we're gonna do n into last uh, item in the stack. Okay, so that will be basically two into two. And this is just an example. It's actually plus, it's not minus. So you will get four and you will put that back into stack. So this will be removed and you will insert four. And at the end of everything, you're gonna just plus everything you have into the stack. So three plus four is equal to seven. With that idea, 
you know, it will become more clear once we, uh, you know, record it. So let's take a shot at it in the code. Okay. What we're saying is that we're going to iterate, we're going to start with OP is equal to plus, and we're going to var num is equal to zero, and we will say for ch in s. And you sh also can see that there are examples with space. So let's just, you know, take care of space right here. So we're that is white space, right? So we're just taking care of, we're not worrying about what you have, you know, if, if there are any spaces. And one thing all I also want to do here is that since we are kind of, you know, postponing everything and we are dealing with, uh, you know, plus, uh, you know, beforehand to cater that because we are dealing with an extra operation at the, at the beginning, we're going to, you know, append our string plus at the end so that we can cater the last operation. So we will say that we are basically changing S to S plus plus. So we are adding uh, plus to s okay so with that in mind if ch is number then we're gonna say num what will our num be num is equal to whatever it was multiplied by 10 so if it's a double digit number or triple digit whatever it's going to read three let's say and it would be 32 then it will read three and then three into 10 and plus two right so we got the idea i think ch dot whole number value and we can i think force cast it because it is a number we know that so that and else so if it's not a number it's going to be an operation because uh, we have already taken care of white space so if it's an operation we will say that if ch is equal to is equal to plus then what do you do you basically insert the number into the stack and let's create a stack real quick you basically over here you negate the number and add it so basically we are kind of applying the negative operation on the number and putting it into the stack if it's plus then we are kind of also applying that plus operation on num which is num and putting into the stack let's uh, copy it twice again and for multiplication what you're gonna do is you will have number multiplied by as we said we're gonna take the last input last um, number in the stack so we'll say stack dot remove last okay and if it's division then we'll say so we want to do last divided by num and not num divided by last right because this is the number which came before that and all the cases we are saying that we are going to make our operation is equal to whatever the ch is right and this 
may not work like that so we may have to convert it to string and we are saying that our number will become zero because we are taking care of our number right okay and at the end what we are doing is whatever we have in the stack just sum all the all the numbers and return it so basically return stack and uh, you can reduce it to and uh, zero and using a plus that that may work it says what how about ch not equal to that will that work okay i guess i made a very stupid mistake over here when ch is <laughs> when ch is not a number you don't have to check ch you have to check op right so let's change back to op so depending on what the operation was and not is let's try to run it okay let's try to submit it cool you get that all right cool hope you guys enjoyed that video and i could subscribe it stay tuned for the next video which is a hard problem on basic calculator thanks for watching